Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute doily wreath. It's really easy to make and I'm excited to show you how to do it, so let's get started. The supplies you're going to need for your wreath are of course some doilies, and I just got these at Michael's. I'm using the white ones, but I also saw that they had black ones, and so I grabbed those to make a wreath later on. And depending on the size of your wreath form that you get will depend on how many doilies you get. For the size of my wreath, I used four packs and 16 come in each. And of course, you're going to need a wreath form. And they have all different sizes, so just depending on how big you want your wreath will depend on the size of the form. I used some ribbon to hang my wreath, a hot glue gun, and glue sticks, don't forget your glue sticks. And I'm using a picture frame to hang my wreath in. And this is totally optional. The wreath looks really cute on its own. Okay, you're just going to peel a doily off. And we're going to fold that in half. And then you're going to take this corner and you're going to fold it about a third of the way over. and then flip that over, and you're going to fold this corner a third of the way over, and then you're going to take this corner and fold it back. So you're kind of creating an S shape. And then take a little bit of your hot glue and just glue that together, just down here at the bottom. All right, and then just continue doing that with all of the doilies. So again, we're just folding that in half. We're taking this corner and we're going to fold it a third of the way over. Turn that over, fold it another third, and another third. Okay, once you have all of your doilies folded, we're just going to take the end and fold it over like that. And I'm going to show you how to start your wreath. I'm just going to take a little hot glue, put it right there, and then just stick it to your wreath. This is really easy. And it doesn't have to go on any certain way. Just like that. And grab another doily, add some hot glue. And I'm just going to stick it on this way. If you have a green wreath or a colored wreath, it's good to kind of try to cover all of that wreath up with the paper, so you're gonna to wanna to stack them next to each other, just so that green doesn't poke through. And as you can see, the doilies will just open up and fill up all of that extra space. So you're just going to continue that all the way around the wreath. And I have one right here that is almost finished. And you can see I used a different foam wreath just a white one and it's a little thinner. So any wreath form will work. And I'm going to grab my ribbon now that I'm almost done and I'm just going to glue that around the wreath form. Okay, and then we're just going to continue on gluing the doilies all around the wreath. And we're just filling it in wherever you think that you need an extra doily. And depending on how full you want your wreath will depend on how tight you glue them together.
And I'm just going to put those doilies right over the ribbon. All right, once you think your wreath is done, I like to just pick it up and look at it and make sure there aren't any spots that need to be filled in. And I'm pretty happy with how this looks, so I think that we are good to go. And like I mentioned, you can use a frame or it looks really cute just on its own, but I'm going to show you how it looks in the frame. And our wreath around. And then we're just going to hot glue that. So make sure that your wreath is where you want it to be, right in the center. Cut off any extra ribbon. All right, and once that is dry, it will be ready to go. You can just hang that on your wall. I think I'm going to put this in Braley's room. I think it's so cute and looks so roughly and perfect for a little girl's room, but I also think it's perfect for summertime. All right, you guys, that is it. I hope you were able to follow along with me and that you can recreate this super cute doily wreath. If you do, please let me know. And if you take pictures, I would love to see them on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So please send them my way. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.